गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी ऑप्टिमल सक्सेस ट्राजेक्ट्री की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में आपका स्वागत है आई एम विश्वेंद्र द फाउंडर ऑफ ऑप्टिमल सक्सेस ट्राजेक्ट्री टुडे विल डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑन फोर्स द क्वेश्चन इज दैट देयर इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ मास 20 केजी एंड इट्स प्लेस्ड ऑन अ सरफेस एंड इट इज गिवन एन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ 2 मीटर पर सेकंड एंड अ फोर्स एक्स ऑन इट व्हिच इज टी प्लस 4 द फोर्स इज टाइम डिपेंडेंट and uh, we need to find the initial acceleration at graph vt graph and pt graph as i told you earlier whenever you solve a problem your mind follows certain steps and if you can learn to synchronize these four steps and to manage these four steps then you can have very good problem solving skills most of the students aspiring for j and fails because they don't have problem solving skills so start learning the art of problem solving skills you solve questions to learn problem solving skills don't try to mug the solution or run away from solving questions if your mind is filled with fear from the sight of questions then you won't be able to learn problem solving skills so learn carefully learning steps don't run away from yourself learn in step the first step is a silent mind whenever you start solving a problem make sure that you are silent for 10 to 20 seconds silence give your mind the time to think and you can generate ideas you can retrieve the information stored in your mind in a better way so let's start with the idea as the question says we need to find the acceleration so the first idea is how to find acceleration the second is we need to uh, draw the graphs so we need to know how the graphs are being drawn these are the basic ideas uh, behind solving this question now let's talk about the information so we know that uh, acceleration can be found from uh, the force equation force is equal to m which is second equation of motion for constant mass uh, so another thing is we need to find velocity so velocity we know the relation from first equation of motion is u plus integration at dt for uh, variable acceleration third is an information about straight line graphs we need to know how to draw the straight line graphs then parabolic graphs we need to know how to draw parabolic graphs uh, talking about the calculations the first thing is f is equal to ma so f is t plus 4 which is 20 into a because the mass of the block is 20 kg so we have t plus 4 is 28 at t is equal to 0 we can say uh, this will be 4 because t will be 0 so we can say 4 is equal to 20a that means a is equal to 4 by 20 that is 1 by 5 that is 0.2 so the initial acceleration of the block will be 0.2 meter per second square let's find instantaneous acceleration so f is equal to ma t plus 4 is 20a that gives you a is equal to t by 20 plus 4 by 20 which is 0.2 so we know that its equation of uh, a straight line having positive slope and intercept 0.2 so that will be the shape of the graph i have drawn this graph as dotted because time is not negative uh, and that's very possible to uh, give a certain reference but we assume that time moves forward and uh, it's not uh, possible to revert it back but uh, so uh, i have drawn this graph as a dotted one the next is uh, we need we know that v is equal to u plus integration in dt so u is 2 a has this value integration dt under the limit 0 to t so after solving we get this as v uh, so since this is a quadratic equation in t so we know that the graph is to be a parabola let's find the vertex of the parabola for that just differentiate velocity so you get this one and t is equal to minus 0.4 obviously the vertex will be at t is minus 0.4 and the value of v will be positive because here it is 2 so if you calculate v will be positive so the parabola will be like this and at t is equal to 0 v is equal to 2 so we can draw the graph again i have drawn the dotted graph because time is not negative let's move forward to momentum momentum is equal to mass into velocity so this is the expression differentiated t is minus 0.4 so p is positive at t is equal to 0 uh, p is 40 so at t is equal to minus 0.4 p is uh, positive you can draw uh, see it from the um, calculations so this will be also a parabola so the inferences that we can draw from these calculations is that uh, if at graph is a straight line then vt and pt graph will be parabolas because of degree of t in that i hope you got the results 
and always do remember don't try to make the solution learn the process of problem solving skills only then you will be able to perform in your exam if your mind is filled with fear anxiety depression or any other negative aspect of your personality you want to be able to perform it so focus on the art of problem solving skills rather than playing with words and informations thank you and have a nice day